first time running. Oh man. Oil pressure okay. Okay, so the way I started it, what I did is I manually energized the fuel pump. So it was running and then I had these injectors opened up and I pressed down on this and then the, everything came to life after that. I'm gonna try again, reconnected the mass module. So it doesn't want to start with the, that mass module, huh? I'm going to try another mass module. I have another one. I feel like when you're holding the key, it's mass module that is not working properly or something. I have another mass module. We're going to try that. See how she does. I've got mass module replaced and fuel pump. And a fuel pump, uh, ma I mean, all right, I have a mass module installed. Another one and... It's also jumper is connected. It's running now. RPMs are back too. So this was a bad mass module. It's like the one that I had in here. start overheating I have to still bleed the system let's see if this column works this doesn't work oh baby you were in need of love by the way this car has the factory like the cellular uh, radio stuff pretty amazing I'm putting the air filter back right now and then this piece right here i didn't break it off it was already broken off i just noticed that it was in one of the boxes and i was wondering what that piece was so yeah i didn't have i don't have time tonight to jb weld it or anything but i'm still gonna kind of leave it there with the spacer and uh, the nut and yeah brand new filter right here looking good So far, so good, no oil leaks. Something clicking right here, I think it's... Maybe a C compressor, huh? This hose is brand new. The old one's really bad. Installing this one. Mm, yes. Also, as of right now, I don't have this cover right here, so I don't want rain uh, water to be getting there. So just put a plastic bag right there everywhere. It's gonna keep it from getting drenched. 
Okay guys, the amazing machine is running. Don't mind the mattress on top of it, but yep. Still a little bit rough. I mean, there's still probably work that needs to be done to the KE, but there she is. Um, just letting it warm up because I need to, you know, add a little bit of trans oil. Other than that, there's an interior on this amazing machine. The radio actually does work, or the player, but the antenna mast is broken. Yeah, everything looking not too bad. This was already removed before, has the owner's manual. There's a lot of stuff that's been done to this amazing machine. Yeah, this seat doesn't move at the moment. Yeah, that one is working. Yeah, I don't know how much time I'll have to work on all this, but yeah, she is. Mm, she's looking good. Amazing machine. Put a new wiper on as well. Okay, let's go ahead and drive it a little bit. Oh wow. First steps of the wagon. It's honestly pretty crazy. It sucks not having a blower motor now. Boy. I open the windows. <laughs> Temp is still okay somewhat. A little on the higher side. It's okay. I think it still needs to have the air bled. But yeah, it's the first steps of this amazing machine. And what's crazy is this car only did or had like 10. Uh, or no, 2,000 miles driven in the past nine years or so. Yeah, it's a little bit higher. I don't like this temperature. Might have to bleed it some more. I uh, I installed the used fan clutch, so maybe that's why. But yeah, I'm just gonna have to. Yeah, and my blower isn't working either, so that's not helpful. <laughs> Turn signals are working. Everything good. Can't believe I'm driving a Mercedes wagon. No, let's go either way actually. Brakes are still good after all these years. Sitting. Installed shifter bushings, they're nice now. Firm. 
Let's go massage those uh, cooling hoses a little bit. It sucks I can't turn the heater on because they disassembled everything here. machine.